Welcome to 22 Sounds weekly video series. I'm Manuel Gempoli, co-owner of 22 Sounds, the independent record store in Mandeville, Louisiana. In this video, I'm going to talk about the vinyl release highlights of November 10th, 2023. And at the end of the video, I have two album recommendations, two albums that came out recently that I just can't get enough of. Uh, I don't know about you, but whenever there is an album that just really grabs me, that I just can't get enough of, can't put down, I just feel the need to talk about it. Uh, I feel like talking about it and letting people know about it is almost as fun <laughs> as the actual listening experience. And yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy those albums as much as I do. This is still a pretty new uh, series. Just wanna take a little moment uh, to talk about that. Still a pretty new series and the idea is kinda mainly have to focus on new vinyl releases, keeping you up to date with what's coming out on vinyl. But um, thinking about also throwing in every now and then some album recommendations, just some albums that stood out to me, whether they're being released on vinyl right now, maybe they have a delayed release, or maybe it's albums that um, I've kind of rediscovered or came out, missed the first time and uh, discovered now. Um, really the idea of this channel is to just kind of hopefully become a source of new music for you, hopefully the subscribers. Um, I, I want this to be, yeah, kind of a library of cool music that whenever you don't know what to listen to next, you can just choose one of the videos and hopefully find something that excites you as much as it does us. All right, so let's get into the new releases first though here. And of course, all of those new releases can be pre-ordered on our website, 22soundrecords.com. And if you're local and you prefer to just pick the records up at the store in person, just shoot us a message on our social media or email us at info at 22soundrecords.com. We can order the records to the store and just let you know when they come in and are ready for you to be picked up. All right, first records that I wanna mention this week is Chris Stapleton. He has a brand new album coming out called Higher highly anticipated record. Um, if you've been following the, the series here, you might know I'm not the biggest country fan. I gotta admit that, I wanna be honest here. Um, but there's some artists that uh, I'm really excited about in this genre as well. I wanna always stay open to the different genres and um, Chris Stapleton is definitely one of them. I mean, he's such a soulful voice, such a good songwriter. It just feels so honest, everything he sings about. Really uh, a very, very impressive artist. Um, he actually kind of, I mean, he really needs no introduction, but um, me and my wife's personal connection in a way to him is, uh, I remember the pandemic spring 2020 when everything was on lockdown, but it was beautiful weather outside, at least where we were pretty much the whole time. We were awaiting our first kid and so we're just kind of like locked in the house and we spent a lot of time just sitting out on the porch listening to uh, Chris Stapleton's Traveler. This will always remind me of that. Well, anyway, that's a little side note here. What well, it kind of shows how music, the, one of the great things about music is just it, it reminds you of different moments in your life. It kind of becomes a soundtrack to it. So really looking forward to Chris Stapleton's new album. And I actually also want to point out real quick, we're going to have a pre-listening party actually at our store. So three days before it's being released on November 7th, you can already listen to it at our store, 22 Sound. Check out our um, Facebook and Instagram for more info. As we get more info, we'll uh, put it out there. But yeah, just wanted to mention that. Hope some of you Chris Stapleton fans come out there and check the new album out with us before it's even being released. All right, next up is Helmet. Yeah, Helmet um, has a brand new album coming out. It's called Left. And then we have a fairly new band from the Netherlands called Assagraum. I think, I gotta say, 
a lot of black metal that I listen to. I have no idea how they pronounce their names, but it's usually a good sign. Not always, but often. Um, this is a really cool band. Really like their last album. Um, came out on digital platforms a little bit ahead of its vinyl release, so had a chance to listen to it a little bit. Um, haven't really had a chance to spend a lot of time with it, but very promising so far. Last album was last album was great. If you really love um, black metal, just in your face punchy black metal, um, but with some melody in it, really great, really energetic. I think that's really one of the things that stood out to me with this band. There's just a certain energy to them, a certain aggression, really good stuff. Um, next band is Monoskin, I think is how it's pronounced, and their album Rush came out earlier this year. This is an expanded edition of the album, I think it has seven additional tracks, and Monoskin is kind of an interesting story to it. Uh, if you haven't heard of them yet, they became really famous when they won the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, I don't know if um, a lot of Americans are actually familiar with that, but basically the Eurovision Song Contest is kind of like, a, yeah, it's a competition between the European countries. Everybody sends an artist to sing a song, it's a big show broadcast all over Europe and then the countries vote who gets to win the big prize and uh, Maneskin actually won it for Italy and that gave him a big boost because it is actually a pretty big deal in Europe. ABBA got their first big break through that. They won um, the Eurovision Song Contest in maybe it was 76, sometime in the 70s. And that was kind of their breakthrough and see what happened to them. I don't know if Monoskin is going to be as big as ABBA, but they are huge in Europe. In Italy, they fill football stadiums, not talking about arenas, I'm talking about football stadiums. And it's kind of like, um, what's interesting is these uh, band members are like in their early 20s. So they kind of grew up, this kind of their first generation growing up where rock is not really the dominating force the first since i guess before rock was even a thing and um so it's kind of interesting like their perspective it's a little bit of a mix of different rock eras that they put together because i guess they experience it all kind of at the same time and i can kind of relate to that i my teenage days were like in the early 2000s when rock and metal was still pretty big thing but what was happening at the time wasn't really that great or it didn't really speak to me so I kind of had the tendency to to go back in time but I kind of got introduced to Black Sabbath or Led Zeppelin or Guns N' Roses or Nirvana and so on kind of all at the same time so it kind of gets mushed together and actually kind of interesting to see a band coming out now at that age that experienced rock history all pieced together in one little thing how they come up with um, their version of rock now not saving saying they're gonna be the saviors of rock or anything like that but um, a band that is um, extremely popular in their area um, i think they came over here for one of the first times or like seriously first time recently and played the madison square garden so they're definitely actually a pretty big deal over here too maybe not quite as big as in Europe but yeah interesting a uh, little backstory to them I find and little side note little fun fact here actually Switzerland my beautiful home country won the Eurovision Song Contest once as well I think it was only once in 1988 and the singer was Celine Dion a 20 year old or roughly 20 year old Celine Dion won the Eurovision Song Contest for Switzerland. Yep, just a little tip in. Um, speaking of Switzerland, Triumph of Death is releasing Resurrection of the Flesh. What an album title. Um, Triumph of Death is, if you haven't heard of them yet, it's Tom Warrior, um, who is of course famous for Hellhammer, Celtic Frost, one of the big legends of extreme metal, of course. Um, he put together a band in recent years to play those old Hellhammer songs, because Hellhammer um, already, I mean, there's a big story to it. I actually have a video out 
about the story of Hellheim on Celtic Frost 2 if you want to hear a little bit more about that. But um, basically, Hellhammer dismantles and turned into Celtic Frost very early in their career, but they were so extreme at the time that they really didn't play any shows. Nobody wanted them to play anywhere. It's crazy then, but then they became this cult um, band over time, highly influential, highly influential. And yeah, so Tom wanted to put a band together to properly play those Hellhammer songs live and kind of resurrect them basically and so this is what they did and this is the live album that came out of some of those shows that they did really cool thing if you are a black metal or even death metal like kind of like just a extreme metal fan definitely something to check out really cool stuff um then we have some cool reissues it is november kind of getting into the time where there's more reissues and new releases i would say so some really interesting ones uh, that i want to go over pretty quickly we have isis reissuing the first two eps as one um kind of one combined release the mosquito control and the red z originally released in 1998 and 1999 with public enemy releasing it takes a nation of millions to hold us back original release 1988 one of the most legendary hip-hop albums um, there ever were, obviously. Um, we have New Order reissuing Substance from 1987. Social Distortion is reissuing their debut album, Mommy's Little Monster from 1983, with Fuel reissuing Something Like Human from 2000, and Super Chunk is reissuing Here's Where the Strings Come In from 1995. And as I said initially, I wanted to talk about two albums that have really blown me away. Recently, it came out recently that I would like to share with y'all. One is The Men Singers. They just released their seventh studio album. Some of it was true. There's gonna be a vinyl release. It's a little delayed. Um, it's actually coming out on January 26th of next year. So um, it's already up for pre-order. I'll have the link um, at the bottom if you want to pre-order it on vinyl, but it's out there on digital platforms to listen to. Very, very great album. I gotta say The Men Singers is a band that I always liked, but I really fell in love with them over the last two albums. Might be a little bit in the minority there. I absolutely love um, after the party and hello exile uh the last two albums before this one that um yeah showed a band that is still rooted in punk rock but um embraced that kind of heartland rock the tom patty bruce springsteen influences at least that's what it sounds like to me those great american songwriters and they are themselves absolutely amazing songwriters what I find they're so good at is um, taking an emotion and taking a, a story, a little moment in life and putting them in words and it just sounds really, really honest. Um, it's very relatable the way they sing it, even when they sing about very specific things, you can kind of relate to it. Um, even though your life situation might be a little different, um, I think in the last the last album already and this one as well um, or yeah really the last three included were a lot about kind of growing older kind of the loss of youth and how to you know how to deal with that which is of course a topic that I guess a lot of people can relate to um, nostalgia false nostalgia and so on and they package it all in extremely catchy but very very great songs can highly recommend this. This is a really heartfelt, great, great, great album. The Men Singer. Some of it was true. Then the second album recommendation that I have is completely different. Um, it's a band called Taubra. I think again one of those. Not quite sure how to pronounce it. And their the album title is um, Therizo, I think. Whatever. You can read it. Come to your own conclusion. It doesn't matter. It is absolutely superb black metal. This is a band um, that is comprised of members of uh, Switzerland and Norway. Some of them, or all of them, were in previous bands. One 
um, that I know of is um, one of the guys is in ARA, um, A-A-R-A, a Swiss black metal band that is absolutely amazing as well that I can highly recommend, especially I would say start with in, or in Ergo in I from 2020, amazing album. But anyway, this one is one of those where I just kind of went down the Bandcamp rabbit hole, uh, checking out new music. There's really few things in life that excite me more than when I get like a new album that is just really exciting to me that just grabs me. And this was one of them. I was really in the mood for some nice black metal so just checked out a bunch of albums and whenever I do that there's a lot of not so great stuff that I immediately forget or try to forget but then there is this great one in there and this is one of them so black metal really over the years it's amazing in how many different directions it has evolved you know you have your melodic black metal atmospheric black metal, avant-garde black metal, folk black metal, black gaze, you have black and death metal. I don't know if they have death and black metal, maybe so. It's so many different things and I think generally it's an absolutely great thing because it shows how the, the essence of black metal can be interpreted in so many different ways and it kept the genre interesting over, over this whole course of time. But sometimes it's nice to have one that is just black metal. That is the genre description here. And this is what they're doing so well. And they found a way to do that without this sounding like just a copy of a copy of a copy of Under the Funeral Moon or something like that. They have their own kind of vibe to them, their own sound while still firmly rooted in what we now consider black metal. It's aggressive, it's dark. It has that vibe that kind of all encompasses it where you can really get lost in it. It's absolutely amazing. I think it is an album of balance. They're balancing different things so greatly and I think that's what makes this album so strong. Um, there are hints of melody in there. Little moments without it being too overt just to kind of break it up a little bit just to kind of put in little flourishes little nuances that keep it interesting there are uh, variations in tempo but just enough there's a lot of blast speed a lot of speed like you want it when you want to listen to black metal but there's just enough variation to keep it interesting the drummer does absolute great things on here love the love his playing style his little ideas that he puts in there amazing and then the production is they just found that nice little sweet spot black metal and production is always um, a little bit of an interesting topic of course for a while it was basically almost mandatory to have an extra shitty production <laughs> and sometimes it did actually kind of add to the to the vibe it actually yeah to the to that eerie atmosphere um, but then some bands kind of overdid it a, a little bit and I think they found a nice mi middle ground here. This production is nice, it's punchy, it's aggressive, um, but it's not like overly polished because you wouldn't want a black metal album to sound like a, I don't know, Five Finger Death Punch album or whatever. Um, and they just found the ex exact right balance here again. This I think is what makes this album so strong. Um, I'm absolutely blown away to me. This is one of the absolute highlights of the black metal year, easily. Definitely gonna be my top 10 of best metal albums of the year. All right, let's see what next week brings. I'm definitely gonna talk about the new vinyl release highlights as I do every week. And let's see if there's anything else that excites me, might throw, in that, throw that in there as well. All right, so don't forget, Pre-order your records on our website, 22soundrecords.com. Follow us, please subscribe to our channel. Stay up to date with new music and get those little extra album recommendations. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.